What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to upload your single player factorial world into your server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future tutorials. When you're playing Factorio, you may want to start a new server with your friends because, well, playing with friends is tons of fun. When you're starting a new server though, especially when it comes to Apex, you often have to start from the beginning. Or do you? You actually can make your server look something like this, especially if you've done it with your single player world, if you follow this tutorial. And today we're covering how to do just that. To locate your world, you're first going to want to type in percent app data percent into your Windows search tab. A folder will appear, and in that file folder, you'll find Factorio, somewhere around the F area. From here, you're going to go to the saves folder. In this new folder, you're going to be able to find all of the saves that you want and select the one you need. When doing these file related things, it's often helpful to have a program such as FileZilla, which I recommend, but is not necessarily required for this tutorial. To upload it on your server, you're of course going to want to stop the server. And once it is fully offline, then you're going to go to the left hand side where you see FTP file access. From here, you're going to type in whatever password you have for your panel. And then you're going to select the green login button. From here, you'll scroll down to, of course, the saves folder, which is not unlike our Windows section. You're going to select that when you find it. Then you're going to go to the left hand side where you see upload and you're going to select that. From here, you're going to click and drag the file folder of your choice with the world. And once it is uploaded at 100%, which may take a moment, you're going to go up to the top and select the name of your server to head back to the main page. And you're going to either start or restart your server to get the changes fixed. Now, this isn't done for sure because we do need to change the world file field. So scroll down to that, click the bar and type in the name of the map of your choice. Then you're gonna select change world then you're going to select restart now once more. This will get the changes officially fixed and load the proper map on the server. Now let's cover a couple of common issues, shall we? The first is if the world is the same for some reason. This can often occur if you have just not reset the server properly. Honestly, that's not always a you thing. Sometimes the server reset can get a little wonky between games. So just do it one more time and you should be good to go. If you get an error where the map doesn't load properly and everything is reset properly, you may just need to reset the name of the file and then restart it once more. That should get it fixed. Well gamers, that's all you need to know about this tutorial. From here now, you know how to go from basic to, well, this. I mean, this looks like something out of Clash of Clans if you ask me. So what are you waiting for? When you want to get started with your friends, this is how you can get started, without having to start from the very bare minimum. That'll just about do it for this one, gamers. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.